Hey you guys, welcome back. We are going to talk about market and real estate trends and what's happening in the Birmingham area as of August 2024. Um, Albert Einstein has a great quote that says, life is like a bicycle. In order to keep it balanced, you have to just keep moving. <laughs> and that's kind of how I feel about the real estate market. Um, if you get focused on any one thing, like you're gonna get left behind. So just kind of keep your eyes open to what's going on overall in the market and you'll be able to see how we are still moving forward. So we're gonna do kind of an economics 101, very basic today. We're talking about supply and demand specifically in the Birmingham area. And supply and demand are what drives the real estate market. And so um, as we're talking about that, I want you to think about your neighborhood, what you're seeing currently, and then you can kind of piece together what's happening um, right around you. First of all, let's talk about supply. Supply is the amount of something that you actually have. <laughs> and in particular, what we're talking about today is real estate or homes being available to purchase. And there are a couple of things that actually determine um, what's available out there. So the biggest factor I think that we're seeing today is, you know, you remember 2020 and 2021, there were amazing interest rates at, I mean, as low as like 2.65. And um, people grabbed them up, like they refinanced, they bought new homes, and that was great and it was wonderful. Um, What's happening today is those people who might would normally sell after three or four years um, are holding on because that's a great interest rate and they don't want to, you know, buy a more expensive home and also have a higher interest rate. So they're kind of holding tight to those homes that they have currently. Another factor that is driving um, kind of a dampening in our supply is the interest rates, which every, I mean, it's kind of like a topic of conversation almost every day. And here's the crazy thing about interest rates is, you know, they go up from day to day or down from day to day. So whatever day it is, it could definitely change in another day. Um, and so with those interest rates, people are maybe a little bit more hesitant to go out and purchase. But here's what I will say. Even at interest rates today, there are people still looking for homes in Birmingham, Alabama. Whether they've had a job transfer, whether they just need to move for whatever reason, their family's literally outgrowing the home that they have, or even they just are, you know, just want to downsize or upsize. There still is a significant demand in the Birmingham area. So if you are looking to sell your home, do not worry that there are not buyers out there because they really are. Another bit of good news for the Birmingham area is in 2023, we saw a rise in new construction. Um, there were over 1,700 new construction, ho construction homes built um, just over this last year. That makes up about 14% of the real estate market in the Birmingham area. That's huge. That means that we've added some homes. Um, so that actually helps with the supply in the Birmingham area. Of course, this is a hopeful sign. Um, it doesn't by any stretch of the means, uh, it doesn't by any stretch mean that we um, are all caught up and balanced, but it does mean that there's hope for the future, that there are new homes coming and that there are, that there is more supply available in the Birmingham area. Now let's talk about demand a little bit. Demand is who wants the thing that's available. And so as we're talking about homes, we're talking about people, buyers who are wanting to get into a new home. Um, whether it's new construction or a home that's previously existing, there are buyers out there. And again, like I said, those are the people who need to purchase a home. And sometimes there are people who just want to purchase a home. In Birmingham, we actually have some of the most affordable homes across the nation. The the um, median home price for the greater Birmingham area is about $270,000, which is still, for most people, accessible. What we have seen though with these higher interest rates is we've had fewer first time home buyers. Um, just with the higher interest rates, it's making it a little tougher for first time home buyers to get into the real estate market. However, um, with the prediction of maybe possibly, not saying it will, but with the possibility of interest rates falling as the year ends in 2024, um, we will see more and more of those first time home buyers getting out there. Um, here's the other thing I want you to think about if you are a buyer and you're just kind of holding on waiting hoping for the interest rates to drop 
when they do, <laughs> like right now, there's a pool of people and, um, you know, a certain amount of homes. If the interest rates do drop, what's going to happen is there will be way more buyers out there. So your competition is going to go up as far as being a buyer and the amount of homes that are available. So just keep that in mind as you're kind of watching the interest rates. It doesn't always necessarily mean it's a better time just because the interest rates are lower. What does this mean if you are a buyer or seller in this market? Well, buyers just realize um, you're not in quite as much competition currently because the interest rates are a little bit higher. Um, the other thing to realize is that um, inventory is a little bit lower. So when you are looking through and you kind of see the same houses over and over again, just realize there are more coming um, as we everybody settled in from summer and gets back into school. It always picks up a little bit more um, and there will be more homes on the market. And with new construction, again, supply is is coming. If you are a seller during this time frame, it's great for you <laughs> because you have people wanting to buy your home. Um, here's the thing too. With sellers, if you are um, preparing your home properly, you're getting it straightened up, you're getting it cleaned out, you're making sure that the things that need to be repaired have been repaired, you will um, be able to negotiate top terms, top dollar for your home. Um, but just remember, these buyers are picky. They're not going to just take anything, um, you know, if it hasn't been taken care of, like those homes will sit. So just think through um, what you're seeing in your neighborhood. Um, factors that you can look at for your neighborhood are, you know, how long have homes been sitting? Um, what kind of price are they going for? Um, are the prices increasing? Um, are you seeing more and more homes listed in your neighborhood? Those are all factors that can play into what you're seeing as a seller and as a buyer. We are Mike and Brandy Brown with Keller Williams in Birmingham, Alabama, and we would love to help you with any of your real estate questions as far as Birmingham, Alabama goes. Feel free to reach out to us at 205-368-5995 or email us at info at mbbrownrealty.com.